Alright, so it's been over a year now since Folly Bro was released. So now I'm going to show you the ultimate Folly Bro guide. This video took me so long to make, so please do leave a like and maybe a subscribe if you enjoyed it. It's free and that's the best way to support me. Anyways, enjoy the video. In this guide, I will be dividing it into two main chapters the introduction, and the strategies. If you already know the introduction to Volleyball, you can skip to this timestamp show on the screen. I will be dividing the strategies into three main parts, which is shooting the ball, attacks, and defenses. Here is the map overview for the mode. There is a volleyball in the center of the map, and an area for both Team Blue and Team Red. Let's go to the basics of Volley Brawl. In Volley Brawl, the mode is best of 3. So you need to score 2 points in order to win the game. Or you can also score 1 point and hold on to it until the timer ends. And how do you exactly catch the ball? Well, when the ball in the center is touched, the ball will travel and a circle will appear in either side of the team. You have to stand in that circle until the circle has a check mark on it. Then, wait for the ball to land. If you successfully stand in the circle until the ball lands, the ball will bounce into the opposing team. But if you fail, the enemy team gets a point. Your job is to defend the ball from touching the ground on your side whilst also attacking the enemy side when the ball is about to land on their side and making sure no one can catch the ball on time. Oh, and one more thing, the ball travels faster the more players shoot them, and the speed resets when someone scores. You can also control the direction of where you want to shoot by standing in different angles of the ball radius. In this example, I'm standing on the left side of the radius. As a result, the ball will go to the right. And in this example, I am standing on the right side of the radius. As a result, the ball will go to the left. You can also stand in the top if you want to shoot it closer to the middle, like what I did here. Or the opposite, if you stand on the bottom, it will shoot very far away. Let's talk about what I think is the top 5 brawlers for attacking, which are Dynamite, Gale, Colette, Frank, and Primo. But I will only take 3 of them, which are Dynamite, Gale, and Frank. Let's talk about Dynamite first. You can play the stun gadget and the demolition star power as well as any gears of your choice, preferably shield and damage. Play Dynamite as an offensive brawler put him near walls, and attack the enemies that are defending or attacking. Time your super correctly before the ball touches the enemy side so that the enemies are knocked off and you score. Next is Gale. Play Gale in side lanes to cover up space so that the enemies can come to your side when the ball is coming towards you. Use the twister gadget and the stun star power. You can use the gadget to either defend yourself or the ball that is coming towards you or you can also use it to be offensive, like trying to put the gadget into the enemy radius. Keep in mind that some brawlers like Colette, Bull, Daryl, Fang, and others can bypass this if timed correctly. Last but not least, we have Frank. Play Frank as an offensive brawler and try to get people with your pulling gadget that are rushing in. Try to team wipe your enemies with your super, as it will be very beneficial for your team. You can use either star powers but I prefer power grab. These are what I think is 3 of the best defensive brawlers. Their goal is to defend the ball and can sometimes play aggressive. I won't explain any of them in detail. And that is the end of the volleyball guide. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment below and I will try to respond them as soon as possible. Don't forget to leave a like and maybe a subscribe if you want. Thank you and have a lovely day.